Hello and welcome to a new episode of our Sacral Connection podcast. This is the fourth appointment. Can you believe that we are already here? Almost a month uh, has gone since I have started this adventure. I feel um, happier and happier as I proceed along it because this is a commitment that I have taken with myself and with you and with the world as well to share my voice, to share my truth. And in this podcast today, as usual, I've been pondering about so many topics to share with you, but then I had to, sh to share what emerged most clearly from the surface. And today I love to talk to you about love signal, love sound, love signature, which are all the same thing and which mean uh, the love song of our heart, the song that we are here to sing, to play in the world. So before to dive into today's topic, I remind you that this is, of course, uh, my gift to you, this podcast series, and that you can receive all the updates by subscribing to my YouTube channel, also by signing in to my uh, newsletter so that you can receive beyond the notification to the podcasts, also my new offers, new events, and support for your growth and expansion and ascension along your terrestrial journey. So let's get started. <sighs> I'd love to, to take a little pause before to go. So the love song of our heart, we came here to this world with a specific sound that we are called to emit in order to be aligned with our core, with our essence. And in my experience, what I could witness along several meetings I had in my life with different kinds of people and also by observing my own life is that every one of us for the greatest part of our life does not sing exactly the song of our own heart. We are a little bit disconnected. Sometimes it's like scratching our soul, the song that we are singing, because it's totally disaligned. Some other times is very harmonic. But this is something that comes to us more as we grow, as we become older and wiser. Um, rarely it happens that in young age, we are so attuned with the song of our own heart. When we come to the world and we are children, we are quite attuned. But that somehow we lose this attunement and we let external elements to affect the song, the vibrations that we emit. I guess that you can hear there are noises as soundtrack of my podcast today. There's an airplane, there's the washing machine going. So this feels quite disturbing. So it's a sign, as I, I always share with you, that maybe I do not have to share this message or maybe this is a very important message that needs to be shared. And so no matter what's happening around you, no matter what is unfolding around you, this is a call to focus. Focus on the sounds of my words. Focus on the sounds of your heart song. So which is your heart song? What did you come here to sing? Which is your truth? I'm sharing this with you because this week I've been called to make decisions. We are called to make decisions every day. Sometimes they 
they feel very easy because we are clear with what we desire. Some other times you feel, we feel that there is something that doesn't match deep within us. That is the moment to ponder about what we truly desire and what truly feels good to us, what truly makes us feel in alignment with life force deep within us, with our core essence. Our core essence is what's important, not what the other people are saying or thinking or, you know, maybe um, proposing us to do, to choose. You always have, you always have the chance to choose. In order to do this, you need to attune with your heart's song. I came here with a specific purpose. Part of it is to share these words of truth with you, to be a catalyst for personal transformation of people, of humanity, to be the medium between cosmos and earth so that I can help and support humans to connect to the truth of their hearts and to be able to embody it and share it in the world because the world needs to sing the greatest harmony, the greatest melody of all, which is us all aligned with our heart song. When each one of us here on earth will be singing, will be singing the song of their own heart, then we will produce the greatest melody, the greatest symphony. And planet Earth will be ascended and we will find ourselves in another part of the infinite universe or in another universe that we do not know yet. We are in the process, just some people of the old po population are singing the songs of their hearts. And I'm here today to trigger you, to be that catalyst and to invite you in a very passionate way to connect to your heart today and every day until the next podcast to see with your eyes, your truth, to feel with your heart, your truth, to sense with your body, your truth, to envision the truth, which is aligned with your heart, which is your truth, which is the song of your heart that you are here to sing. This is the love signal. This is the love sound. This is the love signature, which is unique to you. Only you can sing it. Only you. You are an irreplaceable voice in the human chorus. And here are the bells. Hope you could hear them. Bells are singing the song of their hearts. That is their essence. To sing. Bells are singing. So, would you be that bell? Would you be that bell singing the unique song of your heart? This implies that Sometimes we need to be flexible. Sometimes we need to change our choices, to make different choices, maybe in a very short span of time. Some other times we will have maybe days to ponder about a decision. But it means that we are loyal to what we feel deep within, 
we are loyal to the song of our heart. We trust that wherever it is, our love signal, our love sound, our love signature is meant to be shared that way. It is unique and it is powerful because it comes from us who are all unique miracles in this earth. So do not be scared to share your love song. Do not be scared even though you feel that it may be these attuned with the songs of the other people. It's important that when you feel that it is 100% aligned with your core truth, you share it and you sing it. And then you open up to receiving the effect, the effects of your sharing. It can please some people and it cannot please some other. It can trigger some people, it can help some people, it can support some people. Or maybe you do not receive any kind of feedback. That is a feedback anyway. Silence can be a feedback. In that case, I invite you to ask yourself, what does this silence mean to me? So today with our Love Sound podcast, topic of this podcast, I invite you to be true to your core. I invite you to sing your love song and I invite you to open up to the ripple effects that you can produce in the world when you sing the unique song you came here to play, to sing, to enjoy. I truly love this time more than the others maybe to receive your feedback. Maybe in some days after listening to this podcast and applying my invitation to your day-to-day -day life. And I, I welcome your feedbacks and I'm looking forward to meeting again heart to heart with the next episode. Have a blessed new week.